So I'm watching the uh, the Trump speech. Forgive me, this is like real impromptu. Like this is not going to be like the standard video. Like much is always kind of impromptu, but this is really impromptu. I'm watching this shit, right? Like <clears throat> I just got home. Sorry, sorry. I'm not editing this shit or nothing. I just got home, and uh, it's been a fucking day. And I turn on the uh, TV, or the, the, the Sling TV, trying to find something to watch while I uh, eat a little dinner. And the president-elect is on. Excuse any mess that I may have. I just... Remember when I would make the speeches, I'd say, what the hell do you have to lose? The African-American community was so great to me in this election. They were so great to me. Amazing. I couldn't believe it. I started off at a low number. And every week, boom, boom. I'm showing you my mess. I want you to see this. All of the oh, Republican shit. Candidates for years, and it was great. The Hispanic community, I did great with the Hispanic community. Great. Higher than people that were supposed to have done well. I felt it. And is this really a big surprise? We did great with women. Can you believe it? Great with women. There he is. This is what I was waiting for. I was hoping he would do this thing he's been doing where he turns from the the, po the podium or whatever. A couple of polls came in in the early states and they said, we don't believe it. He's doing well with women. But every time I went out, I saw those beautiful pink signs, right? Women for Trump, but I know we were going to so we did great with him. We did great with everybody. I think that uh We will deepen our harbors and new lanes of commerce across the nation. We have harbors that ships can't even go into. We will have two simple rules when it comes. There's some kind of ruckus in the back. Hold up. I guess some Hillary uh, supporters or something. Where do these people come from? Oh, well. They're taking her back home to mom. No, it's true. It's true. They don't realize. They don't know. They don't know. A lot know. of the people that protested, we said, did you vote? Look at this. If people burn the American flag, Listen to this. There should be consequences. Think so. This is a... Uh, Our trade deficit now is 
nearly $800 billion a year. It's a chronic drag on growth and a destroyer. It destroys the wealth of our country and jobs. And jobs. Ohio has lost one third of its manufacturing jobs since NAFTA. And you know the nice part? Now I don't have to say, signed by Bill Clinton and approved by Hillary. Who cares? All I can tell you is that NAFTA is a disaster. What difference does it make? We will fix NAFTA or we'll terminate it and start all over again. Okay, check this out. Because I, I don't want to keep turning the camera back and forth and shit. This shit is weird. Like, okay. I've been compiling videos, making videos, vlogs and shit that I haven't aired. And I say this in every one of the fucking vlogs that I'm waiting before I put them out. I want to compile them all. I want to do like a fucking, I want to have like a catalog of them and shit. So you guys can see my reactions from the beginning till now, as well as see the growth, the change, the thoughts, the ideas. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I'm not, I'm not perfect. I'm a pretty good judge of character. And I'm a damn sure good study of people, right? People, personalities, movement, energy. Think of crazy if you want to. But I remember when fucking Barack Obama gave that speech as a senator, and I was like. I was just—I just caught the TV from out the corner of my eye, and I stopped for a minute. I was living in Florida, and I watched the guy for it. I watched the young guy at the time for a minute, and I was like, "That guy's going to be a president. He's going to be the president." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, sure as shit, however long later, uh, fucking president, two-term president. I'm watching this guy. I'm watching Trump, and my. My criticism, my interest, my interest is not so much him, right? My, it's not so much him and what he's telling the truth about, lying about, none of that shit. I'm watching him, I'm watching his movement, I'm watching the people behind him. And it's, I'm watch, and then of course we watch the state of like, of the nation right now, you know. I don't get caught up in the media especially the mainstream media because they're full of shit, right? They're pushing a the narrative. But I'm paying attention. I hope you guys are paying attention. This guy's not going to make it. They're not going to let him make it. <laughs> Either he's not going to... There's, there's something weird at play. I, I don't know. I can't put my finger on it, right? I'm not trying to be a fear monger. I'm not mad because Hillary Clinton... Because I'm not down with Hillary. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad because some alt-right cats pop some high Hitlers somewhere. They do that shit all the time. They've been doing that shit. I'm not sweating that shit. I'm just watching this guy. I'm watching this guy. He keeps saying that, but I don't believe him. I just keep, I keep feeling like, <sighs> trying to find the words, man. I feel like, uh, you know, you know how you, you see those uh, late night commercials where those guys come to your town and they sell all these tickets and you come and you go and you watch them speak and they talk about how they can make you rich, blah, 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 blah. Just follow my simple steps or whatever the case is. I guess you could call them like, you know, snake oil salesmen or whatever. I feel like I'm watching that. I feel like I'm watching uh, uh, watching an uh, episode of WWF or WWE wrestling. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm watching someone perform. And, and it makes sense because he's a reality. He's a billionaire. He's been in business before the reality TV. But he's a reality star nonetheless. And I'm not saying I disagree with everything he say. I'm not saying I agree with everything he says. I'm just saying I'm checking out what he's talking about. I'm checking out what he's doing. I'm checking out how he's moving. I don't trust it. I don't trust government. But I don't trust that. 
I feel like I'm being so. This is the, it's the way I felt. Um, slightly after the hype of the whole Obama thing, first election kind of went down or whatever case after after, after it subsided, and uh, you know the whole first black president, all that shit subsided. Now it's time to you know hold their feet to the fire. And I was watching him. I listened to him talk. I listened to him move. I watched how the whole Obamacare thing came about and how he didn't fight for like you know single payer and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. And I know everybody's hype. Like, at that time, everybody was hyped for Obama. You couldn't be black and talk bad against Obama. You know what I'm saying? And at this time, you know, everybody's, everybody who's hype about Trump is hype about Trump. And if you talk bad about Trump, then they say, it's, it's the reverse of what it was before. It's the reverse race thing. You know what I'm saying? If that even makes sense, because it doesn't. But I'm watching this guy and the words he's using. I don't trust, I don't trust this shit, man. Because he's either in the bag or he's out of pocket. You dig what I'm saying? This is the way shit works. I don't give a fuck what you're in, where you're from, what you do, business, corporate America, the hood, middle of America. I don't give a fuck. There's rules to everything. There's rules to everything. You know what I'm saying? You're either in the pocket or you're out of pocket. You're either in the bag or you're out of pocket. You dig what I'm saying? If you are out of pocket, you're not going to make it. You're not going to make it because you're at a table of motherfuckers who have set the table for themselves to eat. And they outnumber you. They set this system up. It's been going for forever. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to make it if you're out of pocket. If you're in the bag... We don't make it. You dig what I'm saying? Like, I know you guys are watching this shit right now. Like, all my regular subscribers are watching this shit. Like, Brave is on some other shit, right? So my eyes are just on some other shit. I'm not, man. I'm just, I'm open, dog, and I'm checking this shot. I'm not on the fear. I'm not on the running in the streets because the world's going to end. It's going to send us all back to Africa. <laughs> send us back to Mexico. I'm not on that shit. I'm not on that shit at all. I'm just checking from this scene right here. And I'm telling you that he's either in the bag or out of pocket. If he's in the bag, then it's bad for all of us. All of us. Because our government's power has progressed steadily. You dig what I'm saying? So, and there's a reason for that. Government wants power. Government wants to keep power. We have, and, and I'm not on some conspiracy shit, conspiracy theory shit, but we have worked we have been working towards a new world order since the since the establishment of, of 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 our democracy. We've been moving towards a new world order. It's been said by every president, all, all, all these cats, all these senators, all these motherfuckers have been saying this. All these representatives have been saying it, especially White House administration, high ranking White House administration, um, high high ranking financial um, trust trust people, uh, and again presidents all of our presidents they've all been saying we're moving towards a, a one a one world government you know what i'm saying and no i'm sorry a new world order um they say it at united nations they say it across the pond everybody all these all these leaders are saying it because that's their goal that's the direction they're walking in they're, they're working towards right because they in the end that's a conglomerate of power like even more so than than ever before right so when you see like these different um these different countries and shit and they're rioting and they're falling apart, they're walking away, the Brexit and all that shit, and you think that these motherfuckers are fighting the system and turning against the system, you gotta understand that you have to break something down to build on top of it. You see what I'm saying? Like when when I when I listen to the military and you go to basic training, they break you down and then they build you into what they want you to be. That's just the standard for anything and everything. You know what I'm saying? You go to the gym, you work out, you get broke down, and then you rebuild into what you want to be. So they're forming this shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the table as it is set. I'm watching this guy, man, and I, I just, 
what I don't know is if he's in if he's in the bag or if he's out of pocket. If he's out of pocket, I don't see him making it. I, I feel like he's out of pocket at some time at some points because he looks like a buffoon up there. Let's be real. He looks like a buffoon. Like you guys who really were in the bag for him really wanted him because you didn't want to be called bigots and you were mad at government and rural America got forgotten and the media was full of shit. All of these things that I don't have time to argue, not concerned about arguing, right? You're looking at him, you're like, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna fix it, he's gonna fix it, he's gonna fix it. I don't think he's gonna make it. I don't think he's gonna make it. Maybe this will be the video I finally put up from all these videos I shot. I don't think he's gonna make it. Or I don't think we're gonna make it. He uses all these things. The job of the president is not to keep the American people safe. The job of the president is to protect the Constitution and uphold the Constitution. Guys that uh, are all hyping on the Trump train, I hope you know. Hope you no, no. I hope you know. I hope you're ready for what you're gonna get. And maybe he is in the bag. Maybe this is the course of uh, the course of direction that we are uh, slated to go through now. Because nothing happens by chance, and the popular vote doesn't elect the president. You dig what I'm saying? The electoral college does. It could be something like it's not even serious. Uh it's just a rant at this point, but it's a it's a rant based in thought and discernment. He said earlier, um, he said earlier about you know he's not down. With, basically, I'm paraphrasing. He's not down with like separation, um, prejudice, blah blah blah. There's no place for it. Now, everything he had said up to that point, everybody was cheering. He said that shit. Low murmurs. I promise you, low murmurs. I will find the shit and clip it up in this bitch. Low murmurs. He keeps pressing unification because it's, it's what has to be pressed. It's, it's what's being demanded of him. You know what I'm saying? The supporters ain't looking for that. That's the shit that makes me feel like he's out of pocket and he's going to catch one. He's going to catch a hot one in the ass because government wants gridlock. That's bureaucracy. They want gridlock. You don't get what you want. They get what they want. You know what I'm saying? And he's talking about doing it. He's talking about term limits. Shit, I'm down for it. He's talking about term limits. He's talking about all kinds of shit. I mean, this is the shit he's talking right now that I myself have wanted to see government talk. I've wanted to see come from our government, but I know the reality of it. It doesn't come from government. It doesn't. And, they, and government wouldn't allow it. So how then does this guy get elected by the Electoral College? And then bring that about. I just, I don't see it. I don't see it making it. This is this getting too long. I'm going to cut out of here, yo. But uh, I don't know. Hit me up in the comments down below. Hit the likes or hit the dislikes. Hit the shares or don't. Hit the subscribe or don't. But definitely hit me in the comments. Tell me what you think. You can email me at uh, bravedirect at outlook dot com, and uh, you can check the other sh the links in the fucking notes about other c contact information. I would love to hear you guys' perspective. I'm not trying to hear that shit about I'm not a bigot because I say this. I'm not trying to hear that shit about Trump's a Klan member and he's going to send everybody out. I'm not trying to hear that shit. 
I'm looking for people with uh, with some sense that's looking a little bit deeper because there's something there. There's something there, man. Look at this shit. There's something. I'm going to get close on this shit. There's something there. Look at the people behind him. It's like a, it's like a fucking circus. You dig what I'm saying? This is your president. Look at his fucking, look at his fucking physical demeanor. Does he look well kept? He's like a presidential fucking person? No, that's this. It's, it's weird. It's not right. Something's not right. I'm telling y'all. You can say brave is crazy, but I'm telling y'all, make this, mark this down as a date. Either he, I mean, he looks like fucking Bernie Sanders minus the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, just weird, disheveled. Bernie Sanders couldn't get in there. Motherfucking Jill Stein couldn't get in there. Motherfucking Gary Johnson couldn't get in there. Motherfucker, what's homeboy name from the Green Party, Party all the way back in the day who, who, who ran like every fucking year? Couldn't get in there. But this guy gets in there. He's got the money, true enough. He had an understanding of social media, true enough. We live in a fucking social media age, true enough, but uh, something's not right, dog. Something's not right. I mean, look at this shit. It's not right. It's weird. Oh, maybe it's just one of those things that's, that's just weird and you're not used to it. But I'm going to make the call. Once again, I want to thank you all. I want to thank the great people of YouTube and Facebooks and Instagrams and Twitters for keeping up with me. And following me and thinking I'm crazy when I'm not crazy. But I'm fucking telling you, that shit is weird. He's either in the bag or out of pocket. We're going to find out. So either, either he's going to end up, he's not going to make it or we're not going to make it. One, one way or another. Either our country's going to be on some lockdown, some motherfucking, some true motherfucking... New World Order shit is the best way I can put it. I'm sorry, I gotta say it. Or that man's not going to make it, and I feel sad for that man if he's not going to. If, it's, if that's what's in the cards for him, I wish that on nobody. But I'm just saying it's weird. It's weird. I don't know. I don't know. Does that look like America behind him? Cutting out, show.